one of the first shows I did was Jonathan Winter's first special. And it wasn't one of the first shows I did, but it was his first special. We were doing it in New York, and we had the guest star was uh, Art Carney and the new Christy Minstrels. And uh, uh, we had just finished our reading, which was funny. It was going to be Marty Frickert's 100th birthday. And uh, the Christy Minstrels were going to bring her a box of grenades and all kinds of drug paraphernalia that nobody understood what it was at the time. And we left the reading and found out that Kennedy had been shot. And so Pat McCormick was the writer, and he went to one bar, Jonathan went to a bar, to, <laughs> Dwight Hemian went to a bar. I seem to recall that I also went to a emporium of spirits. Anyhow, the entire staff was drunk for a week until we were taping the show. And uh, about six days later, I guess, we arrive at the studio, and there'd been no rehearsal. Dwight Hemian said, anybody got a script? And, uh, you know. So we started taping. We had the new Christy Minshall singing a song, and uh, we did Marty Frickett's 100th birthday party. But Art had a, taken a little spirits and tried to make sexual advances on Marty Frickett. Oh, God, he touched my body, you know. And I looked at one, and, and it just went crazy. You know. But it was funny, but it was crazy. It wasn't anything like a television show. <coughs> and... Uh, Dwight Hemian said, well, now what are we going to do? And I said, well, just get two tables and put every prop we can find on the tables and let Jonathan and Art just play. And he said, well, what's that going to be? I said, what that's going to be is something that'll take up time until we figure out what else we're going to do to put on a television show because i got to deliver this sucker in about two and a half, three days. So we taped for about an hour and a half of just shtick at the tables. They'd pick up props. And, uh, and Dwight kept saying, what are we going to do with this? I said, I don't know. So we go up the next morning all with serious hangovers and uh, I said just cut the jokes together and he said well how do you get from one thing to another I said you don't you just cut this joke laugh cut that joke laugh cut that joke he said George that doesn't make any sense I said we're not here to make sense we're here for me to get paid so let's put together what we can and we did and we took it over to CBS and we ran what were basically outtakes and everybody laughed like hell, and they said, well, now, what about the show? And I said, that is the show. They said, that's not a show. No one else will be introduced, nothing happens. They said, those are outtakes. I said, but they're very funny. And they said, well, what, what, I said, it's the newest thing on the continent. That the biggest thing there, they call it comedy verte. What the hell? I said, that's comedy verte. It's sweeping the continent. Everybody's doing comedy verte, and it'll be here soon. Comedy verte? And I said, yeah. So they put it on air. It was funny as hell, but it was made no sense. Uh, it won a, a TV Guide Award. It was really all outtakes. Did that sort of get you thinking about a show like yeah, that? That was that road? was the early that was the early editing techniques of of laughing, which was impossible. I mean, you couldn't do it. We don't have at that point. We didn't have any of the devices or electronics or facilities to do that kind of editing. It was, yeah, two, it was two inch videotape you shot with everything had to be spliced with uh, yeah. uh, magnifying and some, glasses yeah. and uh, razor blades and some of it to make air we just cut together black and white kinney and they said well what is that I said that's all part of comedy verte the idea is to get their attention by doing things differently and uh, it won a TV guide award I was very proud of that